What's up, Heat Spring community? Today, we're going to talk about getting your remote pilot certificate, commonly known as your commercial drone license. And this is going to come from the FAA or the Federal Aviation Administration. And it's your first step to flying drones commercially. It's an essential credential that verifies your understanding of things like drone safety, airspace rules, and operational procedures. And it gives you the legal authority to conduct commercial flights. And so whether you're planning on capturing really cool aerial photos of your solar installations for marketing reasons, or maybe you're conducting site surveys before you guys design systems, or maybe you're even just gathering thermal data to check the safety of your arrays. This remote pilot certificate is going to have you covered to be able to legally fly in any of those scenarios. And so while most commercial drone operations only require this basic certification, there are certain specialized uses or if you're using larger drones where you might need additional certifications or permissions. And if you're not sure what applies to you, the FAA has a tool called What Drone Flyer. Sorry. What kind of drone flyer are you? And it can make sure that you get the right license for your um, application. All right, so we're going to dive in. So how can you qualify for the exam? The FAA has just a couple of things that they call out. They say that you must be at least 16 years old. You have to be able to read, write, speak, and understand English. You also must be in physical and mental condition to safely fly a drone. And then the last thing is you're going to have to pass the initial aeronautical knowledge exam for unmanned aircraft general or small UAG for short. So what topics are going to be covered on this exam? There is a lot. There is applicable regulations relating to small unmanned aircraft system rating privileges, limitations, and flight operation, airspace classification and operating requirements, and flight restrictions affecting small unmanned aircraft operation, aviation weather sources and effects of weather on small unmanned aircraft performance, small unmanned aircraft loading and performance, emergency procedures, crew resource management, radio communication procedures, determining the performance of small unmanned aircraft, the physiological effects of drugs and alcohol, aeronautical decision-making and judgment, airport operations, maintenance and pre-flight inspection procedures, and lastly, operation at night. So how can you prepare for this exam? So while there's no training requirement to sit for the exam, HeatSpring does offer the Drone Pilot Boot Camp to help you prepare for success, as well as dial in commercial drone operations. And this is a comprehensive two-part program with the first part uh, being exam prep. So it's gonna go over everything that you need to know to be able to take that commercial drone pilot certification exam. So it covers regulations, operations, weather, airspace, safety, those sorts of things. And then the second part is a small unmanned aircraft field operations course. And this part of the course helps you train by going through guided simulator sessions. And you learn how to apply those drone best practices. And if you do this portion, you'll also need to get the Zephyr flight simulator and a controller if you don't already have something that's compatible within your house. And that's addition to the course cost, mostly just because some folks choose to do that and some folks decide they don't want to do that aspect of the course. Also, the FAA has something called Knowledge Test Suggested Study Materials on their website where you can dive into a lot of the things that they tell you are very important to know to be qualified for this exam. So what's the process to apply? All of this is outlined on the FAA's website, but we'll briefly go through it as well. First and foremost, you'll need to obtain a FAA tracking number, and you'll do that by creating an integrated airman certification and rating application profile. And you do that prior to registering to take your test. 
Once you've got that set up, then you'll schedule an appointment with an FAA-approved knowledge testing center. You'll pay your $150 testing fee. And when you go to that exam, you'll make sure you have a government-issued photo ID. You'll go to your scheduled appointment and take and pass the Unmanned Aircraft General Small UAG exam. Once you take and pass the exam, you'll then complete FAA Form 8710-Teen, and that's for a remote pilot certificate. And you'll use the FAA's Integrated Airman Certificate and or rating application system. Once you do that, a confirmation email will be sent to you once you have completed your TSA security background check. And at that point, that email will provide instructions for how to print a copy of your temporary remote pilot certificate. You will get a permanent remote pilot certificate via mail once all the other FAA internal processing has been completed. Then once you have your certificate, you want to make sure that you always have that with you whenever you are flying your drone commercially. Let's talk about maintaining your remote pilot certificate. To keep it active, you must complete the free Part 107 Small UAS Recurrent, also known as ACL-677, online training course, and that's directly from the FAA. And you'll need to have this completed within the previous 24 calendar months of any of your flights. And this requirement applies to all Part 107 certificate holders, so that's drone pilot certificate holders, and it ensures that they maintain up-to-date knowledge of drone operations and safety. So it's really, really important to make sure that you stay current. And best part of all, that course is free and it comes directly from the FAA. Do you still have questions at all about getting your FAA remote pilot certificate or Heat Springs Drone Pilot Boot Camp? Just hit us up. You can find us at support at heatspring.com. We're happy to answer any of your questions that you may have after watching this video. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in class.